Mark says, Yep, a friend and I were discussing an obscure and forgotten wrestler. Somehow we found ourselves focused on the Angel. Do you have any knowledge of him? And did you ever work with him? Also, do you have a, a list of wrestlers that time that has forgotten but should not be regarded? So the Angel, do you remember that? It was just, it was just the French Angel, maybe. Well, they had the first one. I forgot his name, but he was a weird looking guy. And I think he was the first one. And he's been a lot of angels through wrestling history. Most of them forgettable, but what was the guy? He, he looked, he looked, he had big hands and, can you find a picture of him? Uh, I can do. He was called the French angel Maurice Tillet. Yep, that's him. Yeah. Do you want me to bring up a photo for you to yeah, see? That's sure. That's sure a photo. Look at there. That's a kisser right there, isn't it? Boy, that is. That is too much, man. I mean, he was and... way before your time. He died in the 50s, but was he ever yeah. on TV? Oh, yeah. I, 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 well, I've you got two screens over here that shows he's been he's been video uh, videotaped, but, but I don't ever remember seeing him on TV. See, when I was a kid, we had we had video out of Chicago and Houston, and that's and then it finally since I was in the Carolinas, we we got to regular tape in the Carolinas, but this 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 guy here was scary. I think he really had scary. acromegaly like Andre the Giant, but it didn't he didn't get like the gigantism part as in the height. And he wasn't very tall, was he? No, he's probably like five eight or something like that, so he wasn't very tall. Anyway, crazy looking. But yeah, so you actually remember him at the time? I do remember him. Was he a he big was star? That, he, or was he a, oh, yeah, he was. He was. Hmm. What's his name? Maurice Tillet? Tillet, yeah. Yep. Well, there you go. But I never knew him as Maurice Tillet. I knew him as a, as a French angel. You know, apparently Bruce Pritchard owns the death mask of Maurice Tillet. You can see it in the back of some of his old podcasts, which is essentially they made a cast. When he died, they made a cast out of his face. And yeah, where did he get? To, where did he get that? Uh, from Paul Bosch, I believe. I really? Originally, yeah. Paul Bosch must have given it or sold it to him. Yeah, we got it. We, we got it. Where did I say we got a tape out of Chicago and where? Houston. So perfect. Houston. Okay, that, that's where I probably saw him. 